Well, hello, my name is Score Chaser, and welcome back. This is episode 19 of Score Plays Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. They turn that down just a wee bit. When we last left off, we were about to fight Gary. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. I had stopped to level up a bit, so I am now at level 30 across the board. And we can now take him on. Okay, well here's hoping that I'm in the right spot as far as levels go, so. I hope you're doing well. It has been a very, very trying week for everything. Uh, it's currently the, the 10th of January when I'm recording this. Oh, I think I overleveled. Oops. But that stuff at the, the Capitol happened just shortly a few days ago, and it, it's been nuts. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not talking about... I'm not going to do politics here. But it's just, uh, it's been a very scary... It's been a scary week. Why are you doing so much damage? That's what no bueno looks like. <clears throat> I hope you've been doing fantastic. <coughs> oh man, I thought I got all that on my system. I was wrong. But I hope wherever you are in the world that you're safe. I almost uh, really didn't want to record over the last few days because of all that's been going on. It just seemed to be, like, severely inappropriate. Yeah, I did overlevel, but I also did try and go to that, uh, that one gym where I wasn't supposed to be. Oh, that Kadabra. But I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna be okay. Okay, so that's that's out of the way. <clears throat> I wonder what the replacements are going to be for the ghosts. Sandra. It's not bad. Forgot to heal my boy up. An escape route. Good, good. Try and trigger an encounter. There we go. A linoon. <laughs> Hello. 
gonna go for that capture. Yes, we are. We have to. Her name is going to be... Long... Long Sue. <laughs> I've been dealing with some uh, some slight congestion issues. I am okay. It's just uh, got some slight congestions going on. It's a Nanner face. But yeah, I'm sorry I'm not very talkative right now. As I'm saying, it's just things have been super weird. And I really don't know what to talk about because I would end up talking about that and I don't want to discuss that. People have enough of that in their face right now, as is. And it's just we got ten more days until we... You know, we bring uh, Joe Biden into office and it's just these 10 days, it's just everything is up in the air as to what's going to happen, what's going, you know, what's, it's just, I don't want to talk about it, but it's just there on my mind, you know? But, uh, on a much lesser positive note, I've been listening to just a lot of random music lately. <clears throat> for my uh, workouts and I started listening to the soundtrack from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and that's a very effective workout music if you haven't listened to it awakening and the more I listened to it the more I kept thinking that some of these riffs reminded me of like 2016 Doom and I am super convinced now that Mick Gordon, I think it's Mick Gordon, that did uh, Doom Eternal in Doom 2016, was a fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Because there's this one song in particular called Fight, where it just has an instrumental part. <laughs> and I swear to God, it sounds like Doom. Uh, look it up. You will not be upset by it. A great ball, huzzah! <coughs> Cheapers. Now, I know I'm at the part where I could be going after the legendary birds, but I am not even going to include them in my team. So I will not even be going to them. Because A, they could potentially kill me. B, it's probably not them, but some other legendary. 
And C, having legendaries on my team would make things way too easy. So we're avoiding that route altogether. On a side note, as far as like what I've been playing not for Let's Plays, I've been playing a lot of Hades on the Nintendo Switch. And I got that game because I heard good things and it looked cool. But then I started playing it, and the more I played it, the more I couldn't stop. Like, literally for at least a week, I didn't even have the software closed out. I had my system in sleep mode, and I would just have <laughs> have it just there waiting for me. And I'd just dive back in for another attempt or two. Or seven or eight in a row. <laughs> Cleanse tag. Let's see. But it's a very, very good game. If you have not played Hades, I highly recommend you pick it up. To me, it's like if Doom and Diablo had a baby. That's the best way I can describe that. <clears throat> My best weapon in it so far has been the, for lack of a better term, the boxing gloves. And my worst weapon is the bow. I am horrible with the bow. Bah! That face. <laughs> Those eyes are creepy. Bah! I also started playing No More Heroes this morning. I ended up getting both of those while they were on sale. Got Hades the same day. I got Hades, Spiritfarer, No More Heroes 1 and 2, Cat Quest 2. If you haven't played Cat Quest, that's another cute game. It's very grindy, very simple, but it's a very good, you know, shut your mind off and play game. When I can get myself an Elgato or something along those lines, I will be doing a lot of playthroughs of Switch games. Uh, one of them will most likely end up being Cat Quest. Because it's just, it's cute. It's just cute. But then I would also be playing through the, the Resident Evil games that I have. I have all the Resident Evils that the Switch was released. And I can't uh, talk right now. <laughs> I did end up getting Resident Evil 4 on Steam. Unfortunately, however, my computer is not strong enough to handle Resident Evil 4. Like, literally, I am... I can play the game, but it's in super slow motion. And so I need to get a new graphics card. I would like to get a new graphics card because I want to play... Uh, Resident Evil 7 and the remakes of 2 and 3 like really really bad and there's like no way in hell I can play Resident Evil 8 <laughs> when that comes out it's not gonna happen a chikorita huh I'm gonna stomp your face blah Netterface just stomping. It's as if it knew I was going to stomp it in the face. Bah. But yeah, I would potentially really love to play like Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, 0, and the remake of 1 for you guys, including the uh, the Revelations games, because I had a ball with those. I maybe spent, <laughs> no lie, a couple hundred hours just on the raid modes. I mean, with the 3DS version, 
I completely finished raid mode 100% all difficulties. It was a very, very fun game. Plus, I was really impressed with the, the graphics on a handheld. Like, they actually blew my mind at how good they were. But then I got RE4 for the Switch, and super hella disappointed they didn't do any kind of gyro aiming. I mean, because after playing the game on Wii, that it feels so natural to play the game like that. I am going to destroy you, little bird. But then I could also do, like, a playthrough of, like, Let's Go, Pikachu, and just stuff like that. It'd be... Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. I think it would be an absolute <clears throat> joy, and I'm still coughing crap up. Christ. <clears throat> It'd be really fun to play that, or do, like, a playthrough of Skyrim. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I've got, like, maybe 500 hours invested in Skyrim on my Switch. Because I didn't play Skyrim until very, very late. Like, I was, like, late to the boat. I was getting on the boat when the boat was empty. Because <laughs> I got an Xbox 360 for the first time in the year 2015. Because I had not bought any new game consoles since the GameCube prior to that. GameCube, PS2 are, like, my last systems. And then I just, I, I skipped a generation or two because I haven't played PS3, PS4. But I'm playing a lot of those games now because they've been getting released on the Switch. That's funny that that's still a set encounter. <clears throat> so I skipped those generations and I got an Xbox. I just, I felt like playing something new, something different. Even though it wasn't new, it was still new to me. And I got Fallout 3, Skyrim, and I think... No, those were basically it. I mainly got... Wow, okay, uh, Slowpoke. I mainly got those systems to just play, just play Skyrim because a friend of mine was talking it up. And said I would love it because I am really into D&D and <clears throat> I fell into Skyrim like immediately and I must have put maybe a couple hundred hours into that version. And then the Switch port was announced and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to just stop playing and I'm going to get a Switch. And Well, this was two years after the fact, so I've been playing Skyrim on and out for about two years and doing everything but the main story. And again, I got it on Switch, and I did everything but complete the main story. And I would get bored after a while, or it had been a while since I touched it, so I'd start up a new character, and that cycle would continue, and I still yet have not finished the game. So if I can get an Elgato, I might actually sit myself down and do the entire game. I think that would be fun. But I also got... Uh, Borderlands, I've been playing through Borderlands, and I got Bioshock, but I haven't started Bioshock. Uh, I have never played Bioshock, but I have it. It is in my back catalog. The backalog. I also got Starlink, because it was like. 15 bucks when it was like 70 so 
I thought that was pretty cool, because Star Fox. How could you hate Star Fox? I also got the Ghostbusters game. That was fun, because I had missed that when it was out for the Xbox 360. Absolutely loved that, because Ghostbusters is a very important series to me. Uh, Stardew Valley has eaten a lot of my time. I also have not finished Stardew Valley. Pretty much for the same reasons as Skyrim. I would really get into it and I would stop playing for a little bit. And then I would be like, well, okay, well, what was I doing? I did, however, play through the entirety of Fallout 3 and almost all of New Vegas. I really preferred New Vegas to 3. I haven't played 4, I haven't played 76 because I, well, especially 76 because A, my computer isn't strong enough, and B, my internet connection is, like, extremely, extremely primitive. Like, the, for me, what sadly is that online gaming and streaming is an impossibility for me. And I've had to come to grips with that. Because it's something I really wanted to do, but where we live, it's impossible. In the middle of nowhere, literally in the forest up in the Pacific Northwest. Like, literally driving down to our mailbox. It's a mile and a half away from our house. <laughs> and uh, it was like last week, my, uh, my husband and I were driving down to our mailbox to get our mail, and we were stopped by an entire herd of elk that was crossing the road from one side of the forest to the other. Do I have a flyer? Yes, I do have a flyer. I'm gonna go to Slidian City. And we're going to go to the, uh... To the gym. And we're gonna get our fourth badge. How am I doing on time? About 23 minutes? Yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So what uh, what we'll do is when uh, we come back, we are going to go to the Slidian Gym and we're going to get our badge. Uh, again, my name is Score Chaser. Thank you for watching. If you watch this entire episode, you're cool. If you didn't already know that. But you very much are cool. And I am rambling. But please do take care. Stay safe. Fill your head with something positive. Because there's too much negativity in the world right now. But you are loved, you are cared for. Take care.